Listen carefully. In these few years I have spent on this terrestrial divide called Earth. I have seen how life treats men. I mean, some men, not all men, especially in their old age. I have seen how men labor and sweat throughout their youthful lives for their wives and children. And I have seen how many men, not all as I said earlier, ended up either through their own carelessness or a conspiracy of the women and children involved in this situation. Let me start this narrative with one old story of how men are often unappreciated by their children. A child asked his dad for one thousand. The father asked him, what do you need the money for? After some consideration, the father promised to provide the amount. However, the night before heading to work, the father couldn't sleep because he realized that was all the money he had left. Looking at it as the head of the house, as the father, he had to take care of the children. He was under so much pressure on how he himself would survive the rest of the week with only 100. As the father, he had to meet his responsibility in the morning. So, he called the child and handed him 900, leaving himself with only 100 to manage for the rest of the week. The child was upset. He expressed his dissatisfaction, complaining about how he needed 1,000 and his father only gave him 900. He reluctantly thanked the father who was left with just 100 to manage the week. Observing the situation from a corner, the mother called the child to her room and provided him with the remaining 100. He became very happy, saying he had the best mother in the world. He didn't remember that his father had already given him 900. This is how most children treat their fathers. They don't see their contributions. These are some of the challenges fathers go through in life. My friend, as you work hard to train your children and make your wife proud, don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget to have something for yourself and your old age. May you not be begging your children to eat in your old age. You can imagine how some women demonize fathers once the children start working. The father could have retired. When he comes to visit his parents, your poor father is giving maybe 5,000 in front of the mother while the mother pulls the son to the kitchen or to her bedroom and collects maybe 50 times what the father got and the father doesn't even know what the mother gets. Once the child drives off, the father is told to bring money again to buy sugar for tea or he will drink sugarless tea. These are some of the reasons why most men die early. The reason this happens to men is because we do not show that we are the ones taking care of these responsibilities. When we are young, we don't attend the PTA meetings, let the children know that my father pays the school fees and attend their special occasions too. When you return from work in the evening, buy your child gifts and give it to them yourself. Ask for their Christmas needs and give your wife the money in the presence of the children. When we don't do this, the children always feel fathers are useless, that fathers don't do anything at all. This is a secret I want to share with you. Old age could be very lonely and agonizing for men who did not plan ahead. May you not become a kind of liability to your children in your old age. May your children not wish you dead early when they cannot take care of you again. To live a happy old age, build businesses, preferably in properties or agriculture, that will feed you in your old age. Build friendships and goodwill that will serve you in your old age. Right now, my brother, listen to me and start to be relevant in your church and community so that you can be remembered in your old age. Kindly give us a follow and share to save a life. You remember women can be jumping from one son's house to another's daughter's house, not the same for men. Can I tell you the truth? You are a stranger in that family you call yours. Today, that house you struggled to build or bought is not yours, it's for your wife and children. A man is like a tractor that builds a road, does it very nicely, then when the road is completed, they bring a low loader and carry the tractor away, claiming it will spoil the road it built. That tractor is never allowed to step on that road it built. The same is the case for men. They deny themselves, get loans, wear tattered clothes, and don't eat properly because they want to see their children through high school and university. 
When they are old enough, the father has often become dispensable. The attention of most children shifts to their mothers, sometimes these mothers poison their minds towards their fathers. Telling their children, I was the one who took care of you, if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have gone to school, I sold all my clothes to send you to school, your father was only interested in alcohol, he was going after women all over the place. Now, the tractor that built the road is being carried away.